Welcome to Simply Happy, a show where you'll be learning how to shift to a more positive perspective in easy to manage steps. Who am I? My name's Olivia. I'm a mother, a wife, the driven woman behind SimplyOli.com, and someone who ditched depression and bipolar disorder through mastering my mindset and emotions. So let's chat about some tips that have helped transform my life because life doesn't need to look perfect to be happy. Hey there, what's up, and welcome back to another episode of Simply Happy. It's me, it's your girl, it's Olivia from simplyolly.com. I am really excited for today's episode. We are chatting about lowering your standards. Oh, oh yeah, doesn't that sound thrilling? But no, seriously, before we dive in though, I do want to send you a little reminder. If you haven't already and you dig the show, Leave a review on iTunes if you can. If not, head to simplyalley.com. You can send me one there. That would be much appreciated too. But while you're at it, I don't want you to just leave me a review. I want you to take a minute. Take a minute out of your day. Not a second just to leave me a review. Take a good solid one to three minutes. Leave reviews for all the podcasts that you've just really been enjoying. It helps everybody out. It shares the love. I hope you take the time. And I think I'm going to start reminding everybody to do this at the top of each episode. Take five minutes of your day if it takes you that long, if you want to really put your heart into something, and leave all your favorite podcasters a review if you haven't already. Thank you. I just I just had to share that. Not really. That made me feel good. Okay. Anyway, let's dive into today's topic. Like I said, it's all about lowering your standards. Now, what I mean by this is that a lot of the times I feel like we all get stuck in the big picture, right? We set the bar really high for ourselves and then get like so frustrated and defeated that we can't reach that bar, right? For me, you know, a long time ago, for me, it really was just about being happy on a consistent basis. And I wasn't that. And so I was defeated and I was like, I'm never going to be that. If I can't be that now, then how am I supposed to be that later? And it was so discouraging. So here's what I mean by lowering your standards. I want you to, to just take a minute and imagine a bar, right? A bar you've placed way, way, way high in the air. Your expectations on, you know, maybe who you are, what your life should look like. Um, whether or not you should have a kid or be married, what your career should look like, all of those things, all of those assumptions, predictions, everything you've made for yourself. And honestly, you, you made these standards for yourself probably when you were really young, right? And you never reassessed again after that. So that bar is way high in the air, 50 feet plus whatever in the air. You can't even come close to reaching it, right? Lower the bar. Lower the bar. Oh my goodness. Not to say that you can't go for that higher bar. And maybe maybe you want to keep it. Maybe you reassess and realize like, dang, I don't I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to be that. That's not that's not the goal anymore. Or or that's somebody else's goal. That's not even my goal. Cause gosh, that's frustrating. So I want you to place a new bar. I want you to, you know, kind of like take take a bar and kind of like toss it just just a smidge, right? We need to start setting bars that are just outside of our reach, right? You know, even if you do maybe a little jump, like you can't can't quite get it, but if you like really work at it, you're gonna reach it. Those are the kind of kinds of bars we need to set for ourselves. So let's see if I can come up with an example. Um, I don't, I don't even know. What do you, what do you want to hear? Do you want to hear relationships? Do you want to hear jobs? <sighs> Dang. Maybe, yeah, sure. Let's go with something stereotypical. Maybe you want, uh, you know, the house with a white picket fence and, and the significant other and the kids and all the jazz and the nice car, right? So you've set that really high bar. What are you, what are you doing to get there? Are you taking any inspired actions to get there? Because that inspired action, that is what's going to be those lower tiered bars. So stop beating yourself up that you're not there yet. 
it takes time sometimes. Other times it doesn't. But be grateful for where you're at. Set that new lower bar and be grateful that you're going to reach it. And then you're going to set another bar. You're going to set another bar. And then you're going to make a freaking ladder. And then you're going to reach whatever it is you wanted to do way back in the day. Whatever new goal maybe. If you've set another high bar. It's, o- it's okay to set those high bars, but we need to lower our standards and stop putting so much pressure on ourselves because it's defeating. It's not constructive. It's not rewarding. It's frustrating and it's irritating and it's depressing. All of those things. Because we set the big goal and then we kind of just wait for it lower those standards. So, you know, maybe you maybe you want to start with the relationship and then go to the house and the car and the kids and all that jazz, right? So, are you just waiting for well just I'm going to be so stereotypical right now. Are you just waiting for Prince Charming to show up? Are you just like, "Oh yeah, he'll find me. I'll I'll be here." No. Like, and I'm not telling you need you need to go on all the dating apps, but be kind to people. Be open, be willing to meet other people. Be willing to let maybe any beliefs go like that have just sat deep down inside you about like how crappy relationships can be because maybe you've had a few and they sucked, right? If you go into every new relationship thinking like, oh, hopefully it's not like the last one or maybe he'll be like this or reflecting those assumptions onto that person, dude, Prince Charming may come and he may leave or he may never come because... You've just closed off that door. So when you lower those standards, right, you have to leave yourself open for opportunities. So you reach those bars, you start climbing towards that goal, but then you have to leave yourself open for the fact that things may not happen the way you planned. Nothing, really, let's take into consideration, does anything in life ever go to plan? That's the standard that I think frustrates everybody the most is that they have it all figured out, right? Quote, unquote. I'm going to land the guy and then I'm going to get the house and then I'm going to get the, the kids in the car. I'm going to get all the things, right? Well, maybe you got the house first. Maybe you had the kids first and that guy didn't work out. And maybe then you found a guy that worked out. I, you know, things, and I feel like my, even the way my life has gone is a perfect resemblance of that because I always made the joke that, um, we did everything backwards, that I've always done everything backwards. I partied in high school and was a nerd in college. I was pregnant before I was married. Um, just all the, all the standards. And I could have let those things tear me down. But I lowered my standards. I enjoyed life the way it was flowing. And I just let it happen. Instead of being so frustrated because it wasn't happening in a certain order. Or I wasn't where I thought I should be. You know? I graduated. I got the degree. But I'm not doing what I went to school for. And that's okay. I'm doing something I love even more. So, we have to stop weighing ourselves down with these big, heavy bars, these big, crazy standards that we feel are what's appropriate. Do what works for you. Build your own ladder and be okay if maybe you slip and fall a little bit. You can still climb back up it. As long as you're willing to keep going and be grateful for what's around you, Be open and be happy where you are and be happy with what you're working towards, then you're set, dude. You'll get there. But lower your standards. Ease off of the gas and just be okay with where you're at and where you're going and what you're doing in the moment to get you there. Don't be so hard on yourself because that's where people burn out and fall short and get frustrated and defeated and they stop working towards what they want. That's it. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. 
I hope if you like it, you share it, maybe on the social medias, maybe you hit me up, send me a message, tell me what you thought about it, all the good things. Check out simplyally.com if you so wish, and I just want to thank you so much for listening. I love you so much. As always, you keep staying simply awesome, I'll keep staying simply Ally, and I'll chat with you on the next pod. Bye.